Mm-hmm. What's going on, guys? Jesse Bad Watch Out. I'll be doing a review for AW uh, Collision and um, Battle of the Belts 12. So let's get to it then. Uh, with the first match of Collision, uh, Ricochet vs. AR Fox. Ricochet and AR Fox unleash a flurry of offense, going hold for a hold until Ricochet hit a taupe suicidal and st- in a standing sh- shooting star press for a near fall. Fox came back. With spinning vertical suplex, Fox jumped over the top rope and crash landed onto Ricochet on the arena floor. Fox walked the ropes and connected with the shooting star press. AR Fox has been so impressive in his opening match, t- said Tony Giovanni. Ricochet nailed Fox with a spinning net breaker from the top rope, uh, displaying uh, extremely creative offense. Fox DDT Ricochet followed up with the package powerbomb for a near fall um, on Ricochet. McChay uh, rallied uh, back with the German suplex for a near fall. Fox dodged a shooting with star press, but Ricochet landed on his feet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Fox landed a 450 splash, but Ricochet kicked out at the two count. The fans chanted AEW, AEW, AEW. Ricochet staggered uh, Fox with the rising knee strike. Um, yeah, with rising, ri- uh, rising knee strike, Ricochet rocked Fox. With uh, vertical uh, ver- vertigo and score the pin, so winner is Ricochet. Ricochet earned every bit of the of that victory. Said Tony Schiavone. Okay, Ricochet got a microphone and he said this. I came here to say one thing. I came here to AEW because this is where the best come to wrestle. But it's funny because here in AEW, I've yet to be pinned or submitted here in this ring. There's one person who keeps putting his nose in my business. Biz- uh, business. I think you guys know Takeshita. You seem to stick your nose in my business every chance that you get, it. and it's starting to be a little annoying. He's the new champion, and that's okay. Takesha, it doesn't matter where you go in this world. Yes, you are champion, but just know, just know, wherever you go, I'll be waiting here to kick your ass. All that matters is I will continue to knock down opponent after opponent until I get you one on one in the middle of the ring, and I become the new and national champion. These people here know I am not from the, the from this planet. I am. Out of this world. All right, Dan Garcia backstage at Pirate Party. Uh, Garcia said he didn't think the Young Bucks and Jack Perry were willing to carry the responsibility that uh, comes with having their championships, especially as the elite sit back and watch Moxie and his crew run uh, roughshod. <coughs> excuse me, through uh, AEW. Um, Isaiah Cassie said the Bucks were complacent well, cowards cassie said he wasn't going to watch the bcc burn aw down all right next match oh by the way there's nine matches on the on collision and there's four matches on uh battle of belts so yeah um chris next match is chris stantlander versus hardy cameron cameron used a leg sweep on chris uh chris cameron countered a powerbomb attempt with a roll up for a two count um chris fired back with a spinning backbreaker, uh, Stantlander scoop slam Hardy. Stantlander followed up with a delayed vertical suplex. Hardy Cameron spiked Chris with a DT, but Chris kicked out at the one count. Chris rallied back with a released German suplex, suplex, and a charging boot strike. Uh, Stantlander nailed Cameron with the Saturday Night Fever and pinned Cameron. Uh, this was Stantlander, Stantlander said on the microphone. One thing about me is that I am never afraid to test myself. I proved. That I am the toughest and strongest woman here in AEW, but one person has been a real pain. So Camille, I'm calling you out. It's about time you, you meet you match a match at Mercedes. I'll make sure you have a front row seat. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, trios match. Uh, Daniel Garcia and Pirate Party. Mark Quinn and Isaac Cassie versus Premier Athletes. Tony Ease, Ari the Vari, and Josh Bush with Smart Mark Sterling. All right. Here we go. Pirate Party used tandem offense on Knees and Davari and then on Woods for a good measure. Stokely Hathaway walked down the ramp and cheered for Isaiah Cassie. My man, he said, uh, Woods suplex Cassie, the premier athlete's triple team. Cassie allowing Woods to power bomb Cassie. Cassie countered a DVD attempt with a sp- uh, spinning kick to Woods. Um, Garcia tagged in and came in like a man possessed, taking all three premier athletes. Garcia nailed Woods with the... Swing that breaker. Pirate Party served with the served up the silly string to knees. Pirate Party followed up the with top with top suiciders to knees and Davari Garcia blasted Woods with a uh, John Wu soup dropkick. Pirate Party cracked Woods with a gin and juice. Mark Quinn covered Woods and pinned him. So it uh, so Dan Garcia and Pirate Party are the winners. 
All right, that Outrunners, Triple Floyd, and True Manor versus uh, Ella Vice, Roosh, and the Beast Mortals with uh, Drahesco, Dre- uh, Dre- 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 whatever. All right, the Beast pep backed Truth into the corner and slapped the taste out of his mouth. The Beast Mortals bulldozed Truth with a shoulder tackle. Uh, True Manor took down Beast with a drop here, followed, followed up by a, f- a fine uh, head scissors. Roosh and Turbo tagged in for their respective teams and traded chops. It was a battle of egos in the center of the ring. After a distraction from Draco on the ring apron, LFI stole back some momentum from the Outrunners. After some flurry of offense to Truth, Roosh post a uh, rushed. I mean, Roosh power slammed uh, True Magnum and then double stomped Truth's uh, uh, sternum. The Beast Mortals tagged in and flipped from the turnbuckles onto F- Truth. LFI um, had Truth isolated in the corner, but Truth fought his way to Turbo for the hot tag. Turbo Floyd came in and cleaned house on LFI. Turbo uh, Turbo um, body slammed tr- Truth onto the beast and onto Rouge. Downrunners dropped a double elbow on Rouge. Drogo uh, tripped Truth as the ref was distracting. Turbo went for a vertical suplex on R- Rouge, but Drogo grabbed uh, Turbo's ankle and held it. Roosh, Roosh's body weight fell on top of Turbo, and Roosh stole the pin. So winners are LFI. Thanks to Draco, the third man to win streak for the Outrunners c- comes to an end, said Tony Giovanni. After that match, LFI triple team the Outrunners until FTR, Dax Harwood, and Cash were stomped to the, uh, to the ring and came to the aid of, of the Outrunners. LFI uh, retreated as they were Outnumbered by FTR and the Outrunners. I mean, I'm sorry. All right, next match: the Conglomerations, Freshy Squeeze, Orange Cassidy versus the Iron Savages, Bolt Bronson with Jack Jameson and Beefcake Boulder. Orange Cat, Orange pulped uh, Bronson with an Orange Punch. Orange, Orange uh, followed up with a Beach Break and pinned Bolt Bronson. An easy win for the King of Slaw style here tonight. Said Nigel McGinnis. So winner is Orange Cassidy. Our next match is Jamie Hayter versus Brooke uh, Havoc. Uh, Hater, <coughs> excuse me, ra- um, Hater rammed into Havoc with a shoulder tackle. Hater stomped on Brooke in the corner. Hater pumped, kicked um, Brooke in the face. Brooke connected with a thrust kick. Hater nearly de- decapitated uh, Brooke with the Hater aid and pinned Brooke, picking up a dec- decisive win. Someone near is Jamie Hater. All right. After the match, Penelope appeared on the big screen above the ramp. Penelope, this is what Penelope said. Are you really confused why I attacked you? I'll tell you why. Unlike you, most of us to, mo- most of us had to work for our opportunities. You want to talk about backstabbing bitches. That's you. You were uh, gone for a year and you came back uh, to a damn parade. Seems like too many of you have gone who Penelope for is. And I'm going to make sure you know what two years of pain and anger feel like. Damn, two years she was gone pinned down before. All right, the uh, uh, the Don Cows family's uh, proto star uh, Kyle Fletcher with Don Cows versus Atlantis Jr. All right, Don Cows joined the broadcast booth for this match. Fletcher threw his ring jacket at Atlantis and then uh, grounded and pounded him. Fletcher rammed Atlantis into the guardrails. Atlantis came back with the tilt the world. Brad Baker on the floor. Atlantis followed up with a big cross by press and then planted Kyle. With a cutter, Kyle tried uh, ripping the mask off Atlantis Jr. Atlantis the defended with a thrust kick, a lariat, and a toe. So the son Atlantis connected with a missile drop kick for a near fall on Fletcher. Kyle Fletcher rocked Atlantis with a half and half suplex. Atlantis escaped a tiger driver attempt and cradled uh, Kyle for a near fall. Fletcher spiked Atlantis Jr. with a DT. Fletcher walloped Atlantis with a brain buster on the apron. Fletcher followed up with a brain buster in the ring for a near fall. All right, Fletcher tried for a tombstone, but Atlantis countered both men, landed on their feet, but Atlantis took down Fletcher with the Canadian destroyer. Atlantis hit a frog splash on Fletcher. Atlantis went for a second frog splash, but Fletcher raised his knees into Atlantis' rib cage. Fletcher smashed Atlantis with the brain, brain buster on the top, a uh, turnbuckle pin uh, for the, and pin Atlantis for the victory. <coughs> for the victory. So winner is um. Uh, Kyle Fletcher. 
So, and does what the cow says. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? Kyle Fletcher has something to say. Kyle, that's what Kyle Fletcher said. I'm ready to talk. Don't worry. I won't waste my breath on you idiots. I'm ready to talk this Wednesday and you will listen. Especially you, Will Allspring. All right, next match is Trios, House of Black. Trios match, House of Black. Malachi, Muddy Masters, Brody King versus three local commanders. Uh, Brody, Blasted Chris, Nancy with Chives, Nancy Tagger. Uh, I'm sorry, Nancy tagged out to the Dark Fox, but the Dark Fox headed back to his den, to his den, uh, tagging out Malachi, tagged in and took care of the competition single handily. The House of Black surrounded and swarmed the Dark Fox and picked him apart piece by piece. Brody suplexed the Dark Fox. Malachi jumped with a double stomp to the Dark Fox. The House of Black uh, uh, decimated and decimated their foes. Devastating uh, them, Brody uh, barely breaking a sweat, made the cover and picked up the easy win. House of Black are now the win, the winningest team in the history of the trios division. Said Tony Giovanni, some winners are House of Black. <clears throat> All right, AEW is a main event on Collision, but later will be the main event on on um, Battle of Belts. All right, AW uh, World Trios Championship match. AW World Trios Champions: Claudio Castagnoli, the Bastard Pack, and Where Yuta versus Action Andre, a Tough Fight, Dante, and Darius Martin. All right, uh, Claudio scooped, slammed Darius, and followed up with the European uppercut. Dante tagged in and connected with the rising strike. A uh, knee uh, with the rising knee strike. Claudio wiped out Dante with a standing layout. Claudio uh, countered a toe from Dante Remy. Dante into the steel ring post. Top uh, flight planted Pat with a tandem offense action. Splash Pat with the 450 spot, four with the 450, but Claudio pulled them off. Uh, Pat Claudio power uh, bombed Andrade. You struck Darius with a running knee right out of Brian Dance's book. Claudio Weir and Pat triple team Andrade in the in the ring. Pat spiked Andrade with a tombstone power driver and pinned him. So winners are the, I think, BCC. <laughs> After the match, AW World Champion John Moxley and Maria Shapir walked down to the ring. They continued to beat down Top Flight and Ice on Dry. The Rush ran in, but Moxley ran. Rush right over with the Lariat. Claudio went to Powerbomb Dante, but Dark Order came out to make the same. Dark Order brought with John Moxley and his crew. The Calvary arrived. Just a little too late, Nig said Nigel, as Moxie and company assaulted Dark Order. Top flight, Moxie said, Hey, Dark Order, I'm going to give you a chance to fight for your lives and and live your dreams. We're going to put their trio championships on the line right now. Ring the bell. Claudio, um, sorry, Claudio, Cat, Claudio blasted John Silver and Pomoed Silver in the corner. Wheeler Yuta chopped Silver, um, Pack tagged in and stomped on Silver. Evil Uno and Alex Rose were still recovering from the beating on the floor, so it was easily three on one in this upper <coughs> in this prompt match. Claudio tossed Yuta with a rocket launcher up to Silver. Evil Uno jumped in to break up the pin attempt. Pack cracked Silver and with with kicks, but Silver blasted blasted Pack out of nowhere. Silver tagged in, but Claudio wiped out, wiped him out with strikes. Claudio pressed Sam Silver and dropped him on his knees. Claudio applied a sharp shoot, shooter on Reynolds while the ref was distracted by Wheeler Yuta. Pack stomped on the, oh, to be right, mess up, stomped on the back of Reynolds. Reynolds uh, back. Uh, Re Reynolds had no choice but to tap out after the match. Wheeler put Reynolds in the cattle um, modulation. Uh, mutilation, I'm oh, sorry. Marina crushed on Silver's arm, whacking it with the briefcase. Pirate Party and Darren Chris came down to check on Dark Order and Top Flight. Orange Cassie surveyed the situation and walked calmly away. Yeah, he just, I think, kind of watched. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. All right, I, this was part of um, Collision, this match. But anyways, uh, Battle of the Belts 12 begins with the AW Continental Championship match. AW Continental Champion, the Rainmaker, Kuzushka Okada versus Congregations, Kyle Wrighty. Alright, Kyle used a uh, drop toe on Okada. Counter with the headlock. Kyle grounded and punched Okada with punch strikes. Kyle applied an ankle lock, but Okada reached the bottom rope, uh, forcing the ref to break the hole. Kyle Riley swept out Okada's leg with a kick. Kyle uh, dropped Okada with a hammer and lock driver on the shoulder. Kyle f followed up with the dragon screw late whip. Kyle dropped a knee across Okada's chest. 
Kakao applied a knee uh, bar and then transitioned to a heel hook on Kakao's eyes in order to escape. Uh, Okan wastes no time and cracked Kao with a net breaker. Orai applied a standing guillotine choke. He let go and smashed Okada with a knee strike. Kao put Okada in an ankle lock, working on the leg again. Okada barely reached the ropes this time. The clock was working against Kao. As 15 minutes had passed, Okada drove Kao with a DDT on the arena floor. Uh, Okada dropped an elbow from the top turnbuckle. Okada caught Kao with a lariat and a drop kick. Kao battled... Uh, Back with an, another guillotine on Okada. Okada escaped and planted Kyle. Okada walled up, walloped uh, Kyle with a Rainmaker clothesline and retained the championship via pinfall. Our next match is Don Cass family's ROH TV champion, the Machine Brian Cage, and the Murhawk Monster Lance Archer versus John Cruz and Jack uh, Ca- uh, Cartwheel. All right, the Don Callis, I mean, Don Callis joined the broadcast booth for this match. Cage charged at Cartwheel uh, with the shoulder tackle. Cage rattled, rally, rattled Jack with the thrust kick. Cage forced Cruz to tag in, hit tossing Cruz over the top row. Arch uh, tagged in and disseminated the cap, cap in the order and disseminated Cruz with a lariat. Archer hurled Cruz with a release suplex. Cage and Archer walloped uh, Cartwheel with a choke stand powerbomb carbo. They spiked Cruz and pinned him. That's a badass. That's a badass team. I can tell you that said Tony Jordan. It's a murder machine. Replying Nigel. All right, main event time. On um, Battle Bells 12. AW wins women. AW women's world title eliminator match. The Glamour Miami who is champion versus Anna versus Anna J. Maria stunned Anna with a jawbreaker and then uh Joe and uh, John Wu drop kick for a near fall. Anna J. Uh, rally, rally back with spinning with a spinning heel kick in the face of the champion. Mario was infuriated and grounded and pounded. Anna J clobbered the challenger with strikes. Mario uh, planted Anna with the Mario go round. Uh, they exchanged chops and uh, they exchanged chops. Uh, Anna J got the upper hand with the hammer throw and a running elbow strike. Anna wiped out uh, Mario with the forearm. Anna hit the drop kick for a near fall. Anna J rallied. Uh, ra- uh, nailed, <coughs> sorry, nailed Mariah with his side suplex. Anna supplied the Queen uh, Slayer, but Mariah bit Anna J's forearm to escape. Mariah retaliated with a German suplex. Mariah made DDT and Anna J through the ropes for a near fall. Mariah staggered Anna J with a headbutt. Anna J rolled up Mariah out of nowhere and pinned the champion. When upset, uh, Anna J did it. The fans erupted. I've been, I've just been told by Tony Khan that Anna J. We'll get her title match in two weeks on Collision. And Phil Davis said Tony Giovanni. So, yeah, the winner is Anna J. Oh, man, I was shocking right there. Everybody, everybody was just shocked on that, on that part. So, yeah, that was good. So, yeah, can't wait for that match in two weeks and stuff. So, anyways, good shows tonight and stuff for three hours of AW. So, yeah, that was it for this video. How you like it? And, um, so, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, leave a comment. If you guys want to leave a comment, I don't care. That was it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.